Oh, hello there, you beautiful and amazing people. I am some guy called Aaron, and welcome to the channel. So, Ireland have released their Six Nations squad, and yeah, it's pretty, pretty good. Uh, I've seen a lot more of the Irish teams this year, so a bit more of aware of the players, more so with a lot with Connor and Ulster in particular. I've seen a lot of their guys, really impressed with what's coming out. And yeah, more so than normal, it's not as much the Leinster squad versus England or France. <laughs> it's it's a nice healthy mix this time, you know. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed that a lot of players have stepped up. So let's get into it let's start with the forwards ryan baird great lock young guy quick as fuck for a lock let's be honest finley Bealham watched him against Lens uh leicester a lot and he has his moments he has his moments he can be really good and then he can be really bad i think he switches off a little bit but that's personally me tag burn yeah, great, solid. Play a few positions. Yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. Jack Conan. Just, I, I find it crazy. He is so underrated. I, I really do. He's so good at number eight. Anyway, Kevin Coombs. I think that's a very solid choice and. Well deserved for this guy. I, I think he's played particularly well for Munster. I think he's stood out quite a bit. I think he's carried more. I think he's took on a bit more of a, a more serious role in the squad. And yeah, I, I'm extremely happy that Coombs has got his his call up. Kaelin Doris. Okay, he's had a few injury issues, but fuck me, this guy's good. I mean, if, if he was in a, like a South Africa or New Zealand, we'd be good. Captain or something, or world fucking amazing. But he just does his job and he's absolutely brilliant. Tag for long. Enough said. Brilliant. Absolutely fucking brilliant. Keen Healy, exactly the same. Stalwart of this absolutely amazing squad. Yeah, <laughs> I've got nothing to say about Furlong or Healy. We know what we're going to get. We're going to get a great set piece, great carrying, super aggressive around the park. Both are going to be fucking phenomenal. I have nothing more I could say or add to these guys. Uh, Ian Henderson, for me, possibly the captain. I think it's maybe between him and Conan. That That's uh, my crazy two cents just being thrown in there, but... um. I think Henderson will probably be captain. I think Henderson's now peaking at the perfect point to get a selection. I think he's had a slow start to the season with Ulster. There's been a few players I've seen throughout the Six Nations squad that are sort of peaking at that right moment. So, yeah, really good. Really good. Rob Herring. I think it's a really, really hard one to choose between him and Kelher for who starts. I think one starts and one's on the bench and you can rotate it. I love Rob Hurd. I think he's just one of the best hookers in the world at the minute. I really, really do. I really rate him. He's great for Ulster. Scores for fun. And him five metres out is extremely dangerous. Anyway. And here's Ronan Kelleher, his other compadre. Yeah, like I said, it's who do you pick? Do, do you flip a coin and go heads, tails? Who who do we go with? Um, I, I would like to see if one starts, uh, possibly rotate it. Um, just a personal thing, but I think they're both cracking. Dave Kilcoin, the monster man. I I. 
I think he's so criminally underrated. He is such a team player for that monster squad. And he's only got 45 caps. I mean, if he wasn't here with Porter and Healy and McGrath, I think he would have 100 caps easy. I fucking love Kilcoin. He is so awkward to play against. Absolutely brilliant. Peter O'Mane. Um, I, do, I don't think he's been as good as he has been in previous years. What? What the fuck? Um, wow. You've still got to pick him. Anyway. Tomo Tool. Really 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 like this guy he's really good on stature i think he played one game against saints and got 27 tackles in a game which is phenomenal for anyone let alone their fucking tight head prop um he's got a great set piece i think he's still got to work on it um but he, he's still super young so I think maybe a few years down the line, he, he'll probably have a really nice foundation set piece, but really, really, really do like him. Andrew Porter, both sides of the scrum. I think possibly he would start on the bench. Um, unless you play him at loose head, it's... Do, do you play Porter? Do you play Healy? Do you... Did you play Furlong? Did you play Heal? It's... Ireland, and all you Irish fans, you have a fucking lovely predicament to have. We've got world-class players. Who do you pick? But, oh, great, I love Andrew Porter. James Ryan, I think he's got a bit of an injury at the minute, so he's sort of in and out of that squad. Um, to see what happens with him, great. Dan Sheehan... Um, yeah, I've not seen a huge amount of them, so I can't really comment on them too much. From what I have seen, really aggressive. Basically, if you've seen Ronan Kelleher and what Dave Herring do around the park, I think it's just a complete carbon copy of them, just a um a younger version. So, really good, really really impressed from what I've seen. Be it limited. Kieran Treadwell. I really, really am envious of what depth Ireland have at the minute. Let's be honest. Kieran Treadwell, fucking phenomenal. Josh van der Fleer, absolute stalwart for Leinster, absolute stalwart for Ireland. Do you start him? Do you play him on the bench? I think in a 23 year, I have a Josh van der Fleer. I don't know what capacity I would use him in, whether it's bench or starting. It's 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 um, he's just one of those players that I, I think he's sort of gotten above Omani now, and I don't know where to play him. Whether you start him or you wave him on the bench, where you have that severe impact that can just win you ball for fun and score for fun. It, it's a really hard one for me to where do you play him? I don't know. Let's look at the backs. So we have Bundyaki, British Lion, huge old fucking unit, absolutely brilliant. Really, Bundyaki and that Henshaw midfield is phenomenal. I think I would maybe have him come off the bench though, because there's a couple other players that I really like the look of at the minute, and I think having a Bundyaki come off the bench to just fucking smash through players when they're tired I think is a really good option wow Rob Balakun I can't remember seeing an Irish player this quick I mean I remember when we used to look at like Ring Rose and Larmer and go fuck it quick no Balakun is even quicker. I absolutely cannot believe how quick this guy is. He is phenomenal. Joey Carberry, good to see he's back. Long, long layoff. I think he'll probably get a 
couple. I'd like to see him and Carty maybe swapping one on the bench, one on one starting. I think Sexton's got to be there or thereabouts, but I would look at the young guys before I would look at him. It's nothing personal to Sexton. He's just 102 at the minute and held together with chewing gum. So I'd like to see the young guys get a bit more of a chat. Craig Casey, I think he's very similar to like a, a Rafi Quirk sort of Harl, um, Harry Randall. Really nice around the base, super quick, really aggressive. Yeah, um, I, I I would be slightly tempted to play him over Murray. I think Jameson Gibson Park will probably get the starting role. Who knows? Who knows? It's a selector's choice. Andrew Conway, great winger. Consistent, quick, enough said. Keith Thurls, you know what you're going to get with him. You're going to get that ability to score. He might be 102. How dare you! But he will be there at that right moment to score. Jameson Gibson Park, like I said, he's probably going to start, let's be honest. Um, everyone seems to love him. Uh, I, I'm I'm a big fan of Casey, but I, I would imagine he's he's the starter overall. Matt Canson. Um, if you're gonna play Balakuna, I'm gonna play fucking Matt Canson as well. That Hansel's so hot right now. Super quick. Has beaten more defenders, scored more points, uh, more tries even. Sorry, and made more meters than anyone else. In the URC. Boy starts. Henshaw, you know what you're getting with Henshaw. Him and Bandiaki have such a good lineup. So I would be very inclined to start him at 12. James Hume, absolutely love him at 13. I think for me, I'd love to see Henshaw and Hume as a partnership with Bandiaki. Coming off the bench, I think um, I think Hume is really, really impressed for Ulster. So let's give him a shot. I, th I think that option to have a Bundyake come off the bench to just crash bang wallop, I think, I think it makes a lot of sense. Hugo Keenan, great under the high ball. I think probably the closest you'll get to a Rob Kearney, personally for me. I don't think um, I don't think anyone will really. I don't think anyone will displace him from that squad. I think it's pretty safe. He'll be the fullback for Ireland. Jordan Lamar, reasonable. Um, I've not seen too much of him this season. To be perfectly honest, I know what he's capable of. Like he can score. He's got a big boot. Could play fullback as well. So let's see what happens. Michael Lowry. Another option at fly half. I think possibly if we'll see him more fullback if he does get picked. Who knows? Connor Murray. I, I mean, I'm going to say it now. How is he, he not got a hundred caps? It's kind of weird to me. I would expect that I don't have a hundred caps, but it's just me. Gary Ring Rose. Another one I've not I've not seen too much of, but we know what we're going to get. We're going to get an absolute rapid Brian O'Driscoll esque performance from him. He'll score. He'll probably win you a game. Yeah, absolute quality. And another one. Do you pick Ring Rose? Do you pick Hume? Do you Henshaw, Earl, if possibly, uh, Aki. The depth is crazy in Ireland when you when you break down who you've got. There are still fucking tons of players missing. Like, who do you pick? It's insane. It really is. Ireland is just spoiled for choice. And uh, Johnny Sexton. Now, it's probably a controversial one. I, I wouldn't play him as much. I think Ireland rely on him too much. I think when 
you had the Ogara Sexton back in the day. I thought there was a little bit of a a little bit of a gap where there was playing Ogaro, Ogaro, Ogara, and then they didn't have Sexton as much. And then there was like that period around that 2009-2010 era when he really took off and it wasn't as good. So I think they've got to bleed a few of the players in a bit more. Even if even though if these two are uh, starting and he's on the bench or I, I, like I said before I, I'd rather these two start and get a lot of game time because we're not that far from the World Cup let's be honest. You serious? I mean, one's got 27, one's got 10 caps. It's, it's a hard one. It's, it's a really hard one. Anyway, that is the squad. And for me, it's an impressive squad. Uh, like I said, you have so much depth in Ireland. It's insane. So anyway, first game is Ireland versus Wales at the Viva. Hard one to call, hard one to call, but I think Ireland will probably do it. And yeah. let's have a look see at the last five. So Ireland came out on top at Millennium. Ireland, 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 and Wales. Yeah. I think history is in favour of Ireland. Looking at the squad, it's in favour of Ireland. I think a lot of people would say Ireland. I think the Six Nation might be between Ireland and France looking at that squad. Now it's not as the usual Leinster Ireland squad. It's it's a good mix this year. The Irish teams are pretty dominant this year around Europe. So yeah, I'm pretty, pretty impressed. Anyway. So for me, my Starting 15, some interesting selections by me, but I feel it's going to be needed for what Ireland will do long term. And I'd kind of like to see a few players try it out in a few positions because they've really impressed me this season. So, yeah. So, starting off, Healy, at loose head, Kelleher, Hooker, like I said maybe swap him with herring it's it's a hard decision and for long at three that pretty much picks itself it really does um the hardest one is between Kelleher and herring probably Kelleher would start for me burn and henderson you're four and five i think maybe henderson would be captain and I have another controversial opinion on that one. But Henderson, for me, probably will be captain. Uh, Doris at six. And at seven, I would love to see Timoney in that back row. Good over the ball. He's more of a six, six and a half. But I really like Timoney. He's really, really, really impressed me for Ulster. I, 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 for me, you want your best players on the pitch. Timoney's in the squad. I, I'd pick him over Omani any day. Um, and like I said earlier, uh, it's a good toss-up between Van der Fleer and Timoney. Anyway. And Conan at eight. And I, I think I would like to throw Spanner in the works and say possibly Conan at captain, but I think Henderson would be the main man for that position. Uh, Jimison Gibson Park 9 probably Carberry at 10 if they're not playing 6 then the whole fucking game Balcon at 11 Henshaw at 12 Hume at 13 like I said I'd be very inclined to have Bandiaki coming off the bench really fucking things up Matt Hansen best winger in the league at the minute um statistically anyway uh 
I think having Hansen on one wing and Balakun on the other gas and then Keenan at the back you've got gas, gas, gas phenomenal so without further ado I'd like to thank you for watching this please like, comment, subscribe to the channel I really do appreciate it I know I'm going to get a load of comments about my team that I've picked but I think you've got to have the best players on the pitch so thank you for watching like, comment, subscribe and stay awesome